Marcus Johnson, the man charged with the murder of Carlos Collins, is now in custody at the Jackson Police Department. 12 News' Tia McKenzie joins us now with the details on how it all unfolded. Tia? Sorry, Byron. The slaying of 25-year-old Carlos Collins left his family in pieces. Tonight, the accused killer is in custody. 33-year-old Marcus Johnson is now in the custody of the Jackson Police Department. Warren County Sheriff Martin Pace tells us Johnson led police on a chase after a deputy spotted the black Honda Accord Johnson was reportedly driving. Johnson was wanted for the murder of Carlos Collins that happened at the Tapestry Apartments in Jackson on Tuesday. I think any time you have a major crime uh, such as this, uh, cooperation among agencies is is vitally important to protect the public, and that's uh, what was evidence yesterday. The chase started on Interstate 20 in Mississippi. Pay says the pursuit lasted about 35 minutes before Johnson was captured 25 miles outside of Monroe, Louisiana on Wednesday. They attempted to uh, initiate a stop on the vehicle. He did not stop. He, instead, he accelerated to a higher speed and crossed over into Louisiana. This continued through Madison Parish, uh, past the town of Tallulah, Richland Parish. Sheriff's officers were able to deflate the tires on a suspect's vehicle. He rolled to a stop and at that point was taken into custody without incident. Sheriff Pace says no one was injured during the pursuit. No one was injured. No vehicles were damaged. Uh, it all ended very well. One of our concerns was the traffic as we began approaching the city of Monroe, which is a much larger city. Uh, obviously, we had concerns of the suspect's actions. Johnson worked for the Jackson Police Department for eight months in 2013. He was separated from JPD pending disciplinary actions leading to his immediate termination. Johnson resigned just before his termination. Johnson's initial appearance in court is likely to be tomorrow. We'll keep you up to date on air and online as we learn more. Tia McKenzie, 12 News.